Welcome and good morning. Uh, day two, or actually day one of the damn cartoons, car, car, festival of political cartooning. Um, we have a panel, a series of panels today that will examine the cartoons past, cartooning past, and cartooning future. Um, we had a great day yesterday uh, at the Library of Congress, later at the Longworth Building, and then later, at the, later after that at the Mott House. Um, and I think the next two days are going to be just as enjoyable and just as educational. Um, to welcome us here, uh, I'd like to introduce uh, Frank Sesno. He's formerly of CNN, and he is a, uh, he's the director of the George Washington University School of Media and Public Affairs. Well, <clears throat> thank you, John, and uh, welcome all of you to George Washington University and our School of Media and Public Affairs, which is this building, and Jack Morton Auditorium. How many of you are here for the first time? Terrific. Okay, so great neighborhood, lots of good restaurants. Uh, be, you know, you're on your own if you eat from the food trucks outside. Those are, not, those are not approved, but good grist for the mill, as we might say. I'd like to start uh, by uh, recognizing and thanking Samara Sitt, who's at the back of the room, who has been our point person in making this possible for all of you. <clears throat> Samara is a director of special projects and administration uh, with the School of Media and Public Affairs. What we do at the School of Media and Public Affairs, which is why we are so thrilled to be uh, here and to have invited uh, our students and others to be dropping in and out throughout the course of the couple of these two days, is we teach journalism, these are our majors, journalism, mass communication, political communication. Now let me think about what you do and what we do, and it's pretty perfect. Um, and we think we have a little bit of a sense of humor, so um, that matches up as well. Uh, as John mentioned, I, before I took this job, I was at CNN for many, many years, and I would always start on the op-ed page when I read, read my nine, ten newspapers a day when we had these things called newspapers, um, because that's where, uh, you know, having some good sense of, of what the news was, I got the take on it, right? That Whether it was the editorial, the op-ed, or in many papers, most papers that I was reading anyway, the political cartoons. Uh, so what you do, and it predates the republic itself, and it was long before there was this thing called the internet, and long before there was this thing called television, and long before there was a thing called radio, uh, is, is one of the proudest, uh, most fascinating uh, historical traditions of a free press and a free people um, that we can imagine. Plus, you're snarky, too, which we really love. So welcome. Uh, if you need anything, uh, feel free to ask. How many are from out of town? Most of you? Great. Um, it's a great time to be in Washington. The weather's supposed to be amazing, so I hope you will enjoy your stay. And uh, I think uh, from what I've seen from the program ahead, uh, it could not be, it could not be uh, more fascinating. Our students uh, and our faculty, if they're coming in and out, uh, really are, some of them, wanting to do what you do and uh, all of them celebrating what you do. So thank you again, welcome, and I wish you all the best for the next two days. I'll be seeing you myself as I drop in and out. See you.